Hello, I'm Dr. Nicola Marchetti, the Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning at the School of Engineering in Trinity College. I would like to welcome you to the School of Engineering. If you join us, you will be part of a long and living tradition. Our school goes back almost 200 years. At its core, engineering education is not so much about facts and notions that you learn off by heart, but much more about creative problem solving using technical tools that you are provided in your education. If you ask yourself where, where you will be in 10 or 20 years, and the answer is that you would like to be a main actor in solving big societal challenges like climate change or the unfortunate pandemic we happen to live in by using technology and science, the right place for you is engineering, and even more so, Trinity Engineering. The skills you will learn and the links you will forge while studying with us will shape your future and lead you to the perfect path to have a satisfactory career addressing issues that are really important for all of us and the world. We envision a student lecturer relationship where both the lecturer and the students have their own have their own responsibility. So the lecturer needs to respect the students and of course be respected in return. The lecturer should help students to learn independently without spoon feeding them. Mixing practice and theory in the right uh, manner and in fact illustrating teaching with examples that come from his or her own research expertise and real world development uh, problems. A student should be definitely interested in the subject uh, he or she is studying and an engineering student should be interested in applying science and technology to address real world engineering needs. So this bridge between practice and theory between the real world and the classroom is very much something which position engineering in a unique spot in the knowledge domain. To be successful, you have to take ownership of your own education, be prepared for the lectures in advance, and ask any question to the lecturers and demonstrators whenever you're stuck. So be the main character in the movie of your education. Trinity established uh, graduate attributes that should help the academic growth of our students uh, whenever studying our programs. So you should act responsibly. For example, be an effective participant in a team when you have uh, to work on a, on a certain project. Be self-motivated and able to take responsibility in general. You should think independently. So don't take things for granted, but be creative, be critical. You should develop continuously. You should be passionate about continuously learning, in fact. You should be able to adapt to change, and that will position you again uniquely in the market because the market requirements might change, but if you're ready to learn continuously, you will not be in trouble by the change in demands. You should also communicate effectively. You should be able to tell to the people around us, also the ones that didn't study engineering, the importance of your work, why it matters that engineers do what they do, and why, for example, it's important that the government as to fund research in engineering. You know, why is it important that people study engineering? In fact, why does the world need engineers? And how can we help people live a better life? So this is all, uh, in, this is all part of your education, how to communicate effectively. So we have a very good tradition of students finding jobs very quickly in industry or you know, in other um, uh, along other paths, like, for example, uh, research. Uh, Dublin is very fortunate to host uh, big uh, multinational corporations and very innovative uh, SMEs in multiple domains, IT, big pharma, uh, building science, energy, manufacturing, finance. So you see here listed some names and, uh, of fantastic companies, you know, which uh, actually hire our graduates regularly and are very happy with the level of uh, education we provide to them and they actually appreciate how quickly they can adapt to the demands of the company and in fact they, they say they hit the ground running anytime they hire some of our students. The undergraduate program at Trinity is composed 
in, in engineering is composed by two common years where you will establish a broad base uh, of knowledge within the domains of science and, and, and engineering. And then in year three, you will choose the stream you want to specialize in. And we have six streams, biomedical, civil, computer, electronic, electronic and computer, and mechanical. And the idea is that after the first two years of common exposure to different subjects, you are mature enough to understand where your interests lie and what kind of engineer you would like to become. So the later three years are in fact devoted to specialization and later on you will be engaging in a project, whether in year four or in year five, which is a large uh, size uh, activity that uh, provides you um, a good portion of the credits uh, uh, in, in those years and especially toward the fifth year it will be very much uh, of uh, very much something of a research activity so you will be essentially working as a scientist as a as a real engineer uh, by solving a concrete problem in collaboration with uh, our lecturers in year four you also have the chance to um, study abroad or to study uh, or to spend a semester on an internship in a top company. So here you see listed the modules that you will um, study in uh, year one, and you see there is quite a mixture of mathematics, chemistry, physics, uh, different kind of engineering, a very nice project on graphics and computer-aided engineering. And the idea is that you will strengthen your knowledge base in fundamental science and math, and start to learn the basics of engineering um, design. The second year is similar, but you move on to more advanced uh, engineering science and math, and you start actually to apply these to real world problems. To be noted again, very interesting design projects such as the buggy project, where you will design a buggy that can uh, basically move uh, following a track uh, using a webcam, artificial intelligence, and you can remotely control it with wireless communication uh, techniques. Uh, you can also choose, uh, you, you will also have the opportunity to study Trinity electives in year two and year three, uh, which are uh, outside of the normal domain of education of engineering, but will open up your horizons, uh, studying subjects that are actually uh, very interesting per se, and they can spark new ideas in your uh, minds. So from year three, as uh, I said, we, you will start to specialize and you, you will choose one of these uh, streams. And either two uh, years, if you do the BAI um, program or uh, f uh, three years, if you do the MAI program, uh, will be added to the first two years and you will become a specialist in a certain domain of engineering of your interest. So what are the, these domains of interest uh, for, for our school in terms of research? So we have um, four main uh, uh, streams that you can, you can actually uh, find. Uh, I will explain to you in the next few minutes. So mechanical manufacturing and biomedical engineering is in fact looking into a very broad array of topics. Uh, Top-notch researchers that won fantastic awards at an international level will be your lecturers. In, in, this, uh, in this program. For example, we have bioengineering, trying to understand how to substitute or you know, repair uh, damaged tissues in, in the body by using engineering techniques. Um, renewable um, energy uh, distri distribution, like uh, wind energy, uh, fluids and heat transfer, robotics. So there are going to be very interesting research topics which you will be exposed to in the fourth and fifth year projects. So you will have a chance to you know, have first-hand experience of these topics um, via those projects or also uh, via internships in top companies in the domain. The Civil Structural and Environmental Engineering Department also focuses on very timely topics, uh, chiefly to do with uh, sustainability, so renewable energy uh, sources, you know, and how, for example, you can uh, apply solar panels uh, to buildings, um, how you can make the, the whole, you know, building science uh, sustainable, um, and also like uh, transportation and uh, testing structure stability and health and uh, 
and many other topics uh, that uh, are very interesting. The electronic and engineering uh, department uh, focuses on uh, uh, very interesting topics as well. So think of the future 5G networks, Internet of Things, um, media processing, like you know, special effects in movies and uh, uh, mu uh, how music and uh, and and, and uh, media technologies can play together. Um, and uh, we have, for example, one professor in the field of computational science and, med and media engineering who won an Oscar, so an Academy Award. And I think very few universities can pride themselves of such an achievement. So very interesting areas of research, again, uh, you, you will be exposed to if you choose this stream. Computer engineering uh, also has a lot to offer. I mean, think of how much uh, how important is artificial intelligence nowadays. So the study of uh, deep learning, machine learning, agent-based modeling, and how it actually applies to computing and communication networks is of interest to computer engineering. Future cities, so how will you design cities in a way that um, uh, get together digital technologies, artificial intelligence, you know, and the different systems uh, like uh, smart transportation uh, smart uh, sensing in the city in a way that makes our cities uh, better places to live. Another very interesting course along with the engineering one is the engineering with management. So this is a specialized program that accepts around 30 students per year. Um, uh, this is for students that really are interested in both the engineering and management sides of the story. And those, especially those that want to move quickly into the business uh, domain after graduation. It's a direct entry program into the first year. You can do a four-year bachelor or a five-year master. And it's a mixture of engineering and other subjects. So for example, business and finance, management science, design and innovation, along with more in, uh, engineering-oriented um, uh, subjects. You can also go on internship or international exchange in fourth year. And these are. Uh, the graduates in engineering with management <coughs> are very much uh, sought after by the market because they have this capability to apply engineering uh, rational pro problem solving to domains such as business and finance. And so they get, in a sense, the, boast, the best of, uh, of both world, uh, worlds, like engineering and business. So we have a very active finance sector in Dublin, as you know, with, uh, for example, companies like uh, Accenture, that are uh, very much you know, happy uh, to hire our graduates uh, that have this unique combination of engineering and management expertise. So a project that Trinity has been working on for a few years and uh, is definitely ramping up is a E3 project. E3 stands for Engineering, Environment, and Emerging Technologies. So this is a joint venture uh, between the School of Engineering, the School of Computer Science and Statistics, and the School of Natural Sciences. We are going to tackle multidisciplinary complex problems, for example, dealing with climate change and sustainability that require the expertise of engineers, computer scientists, and natural scientists together. So we will have a dedicated building for this program. It's called the E3 Learning Foundry, which is to be thought of as a living lab where you can collaborate and actively learn, um, do experimentation, and really, you know, it's supposed to be a vibrant vibrant um, environment where you can actually talk with people from different uh, domains solving very interesting and timely topics uh, that have to do with the future of our planet. Ultimately, three aims to understand the impact humans have on the environment and how we can improve our coexistence uh, with, with the natural world by using techniques uh, from uh, uh, different fields. and also from engineering. So in summary, the School of Engineering is very much research-led. So we have top-notch researchers teaching our modules. Uh, we have an immense uh, host of expertise. Um, and uh, you know, uh, we can really pride ourselves in, uh, in lectures that achieve the highest uh, level of recognition in their own field you know, in terms of uh, European or international awards. 
And many of them are actually successful entrepreneurs. So showing that engineering is very much uh, about the linking between uh, the theory and the practice, between the classroom and uh, the, the, uh, the real world and the economy out there. We are a fantastic uh, environment uh, to deliver uh, world-class education, research, and innovation. So we don't just stop at the lectures, but you know, we have amazing research labs and startups and all of this, you know, is something that uh, you can be exposed to and, in fact, you know, will enrich your education experience. Our, innova our innovative teaching, research excellence, and state-of-the-art labs and facilities will enable you to make the best out of your time in Trinity and prepare you to be one of the game changers of the future. So I hope uh, you, I convinced you that uh, Trinity Engineering is a special place and definitely we would welcome you to join us and be the new blood of our school and projecting such a glorious and, and uh, uh, anchored into tradition school into the future. So we are about our glorious tradition, but we are also very much about the future and you will play a fantastic part in it. So welcome to the School of Engineering in Trinity College, Dublin.